All right, people, how's it going? Welcome back to the Blue Lounge. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is a message to Chelsea Football Club. To whoever is in charge in selecting the next owner. The winning bid when it comes to the, um, the acquisition and the purchase of Chelsea Football Club. We want you to know that the Chelsea fan base stands united against one bid the bid of the Ricketts family the bid of a family that is known for their racism Islamophobic and bigoted views we don't want them anywhere near our club whoever's listening from the decision makers you need to understand the Chelsea fan base does not want the Ricketts family we the fans have a voice in this. We are a massive stakeholder in this. And our opinion needs to be counted. And it needs to be listened to. We will be protesting outside Stamford Bridge on Saturday. We will be there. And we will be letting you know how we feel. Chelsea fans, if you're watching this and you're listening and you are able to get there on Saturday afternoon, 12 p.m., make sure you're there. Let your voice count for something. Let it be known that the Chelsea fan base, the Chelsea supporters, were not for this or against this. Let history record our stance, our position on this. I'm going to play for you messages that I've requested to be sent to me via social media and some of our fans. And these are messages from people that a lot of you will know. And I hope the Chelsea board, the club, will listen to us. Let's get into the messages. Blue Lounge, thank you for having me on for this. This is a big one. Chelsea Football Club is, uh, you know, up in the air right now. And it's pretty clear that a majority of the supporters, including myself, are saying no to Ricketts. Now, there's various reasons as to why we might be saying no to Ricketts. It's not 100% of the fan base. I would say it's a large majority. There are a minority that are happy to see the Ricketts come in. But let's be honest, in terms of the reasons why a lot of us are saying no, there's various amount of of reasons we don't need to take that risk we just don't when we have other options that don't come with as much baggage as the Ricketts and Ken Griffin are coming in terms of their pursuit of Chelsea Football Club so right now look I say a strict and big no to Ricketts and um, yeah let's get them out of this uh, process that way we can focus on someone or, or a group that's going to take the club forward for the next 30 40 years because that is how much it's going to impact the club this decision is going to determine our future it could even be if they come in five years and they sell we don't want that we want people that are going to come in and carry on the vision as it was set out and introduce new ideas to take the club forward and we and i believe the rickets are not that so no to rickets let's get what we're here quick message for the blue lounge showing the community why it's so important not to let the rickets family take over Chelsea Football Club on all aspects they do not pass okay you've got racial you've got against Islam you've got the sporting aspect everything is against them the fans have done their bit on social media the people around the club haven't done enough we need to do more people okay Bruce Park needs to also go I don't know how we've got into this situation but this is what we're going through Chelsea we need more answers we need more messages out there the protests have to go ahead big up the blue lounge hopefully this clip's enough and big up all the communities the fan base supporting all of us peace greetings this is dennis p the couch critic out here in kingston jamaica on a personal matter but i did have to answer the bell when mokazim reached out and asked me to put together a testimonial and you know the reasons are plentiful i mean First of all, Chelsea are a global football brand, global football club, you know, have fans that expand 
all over the globe. Even though we're based in Southwest London, you know, we have a, a far reaching fan base that we have to cater to and take into consideration when we, you know, when we, when we make statements about the club, when we represent the club in any way. And, you know, Roman has done a yeoman work at like cleaning up the image and also not just that, but also uh, his campaigns on anti-racism, anti-Semitism have been, you know, w have been award-winning. So, and if you look at the records of the Ricketts right now, it's the exact opposite of that. They've been outspoken against uh, abortion. They've been outspoken against uh, Islam. And, um, and not only that, but they've also, you know, made some derogatory terms against you know, uh, Jewish community with their with their claims of concentration camps for people that don't want to take vaccinations and whatnot. So, all of this is just not what you want in ownership, leadership, and whatnot. And it's just too much noise. And for that reason, I'm 100% behind the yo no yo yo Ricketts. people. Hashtag no to Ricketts trending and has been trending ever since they've been linked to our football club. Keep pushing it because unfortunately, the hierarchy at our football club are incompetent by the looks of it, in making sure that we have the right owners to continue the success that we've had at our football club. And we ain't got to look at it just from a personal uh, aspect. We know it's easy to talk about the racism and the Islamophobia comments, which already don't really give this football club a great image when your owners your, your owners are, 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 are sort of linked to that, that kind of mess. But when you look at it from a business aspect and you look at the Chicago Cubs and even their supporters and their supporters reaching out and saying to us, stay away from these guys. They've lacked success, the success that they were probably being told that they were going to have. They lack, they, lack, they lack the infrastructure and system that is needed in place. They get rid of their best players. Apparently, they're very bad when it comes to paying wages as well. There's a lot of bad things in, in, in terms of setup that these Ricketts family uh, are not they're just basically not competent in doing so so you know personal aspect is bad as it is looking at it from a business aspect again it's still just not good enough for for them to come in and take over this 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 football club we have to keep pushing it we cannot allow the Ricketts family anywhere near this football club starting from this week when I go to the Brentford game so if you are free and you ain't doing anything make sure you make your way your way down to the bridge because I'm assuming that protests will proceed, we move up the chills. Hello, it's Andreas Korsun from Norway. Just want to first start to say a big thank you to Mo for making this video happen. I am addressing out to you today because I feel like we, the Chelsea community, we need to stand together today with one voice and one demand. We are all today saying no to the Ricketts family buying Chelsea Football Club. I feel like we all need to make it known that we the fans do not support any form of racism and these people are known for their racist views against Muslims and other ethnic groups. We do not want rickets near our football club. We ask the Chelsea board to listen to the fans. Thank you so much for the Blue Lounge for uh, reaching out. I want to start by saying I'm 100% behind the No to Ricketts, No to Griffin Consortium. When you look at the, what the club has done in, to fight racism, anti-Semitism, and you look at the records of the Ricketts, you see statements against abortion. You see Islamophobia. You see racism against black people and black communities. They have also rejected accessibility with, for disabled, disabled people, which was considered apparently as a measurement for cost saving, which I find absolutely ridiculous. You look at Citadel, uh, led by Mr. Griffin, have many shady investments, provided in convertible loans, 84 million pounds, which is about 104 million, 114 or 118 or something like that, million dollars, uh, to the Chinese security and surveillance technology, and acquired 10 of the 50 biggest companies, which put together the infrastructure of surveillance to track down uh, democracy advocates and dissidents, which led to many U.S. financial institutions cutting ties with. Then there is question marks for sure. The, the, the fact that Rain Group has taken them after all of these cases, from phase one to phase two, and the bidding process is disgraceful. When, when, you, look at, when you look at it case by case, I don't think you want a leadership when there is a, like that, when there is morality and ethics at stake. Thank you so much, everyone. 
on any number of levels, the, Rickett fam- the Ricketts family and Ken Griffin aren't suitable owners for Chelsea Football Club. Even if you detract away from the numerous allegations that have been made regarding horrific and in some cases historic um, allegations of racism, Islamophobia, uh, anti-Asian sentiment, most recently with coronavirus, and um, allegations of uh, sexism across multiple companies, it's quite clear they have no interest in the football club from a competing point of view at heart. Look at how they've butchered the Chicago Cubs. Look at how the Chicago Cubs fans revere them. I think it's important to note that there is a sort of cultural war at the moment going on between Chelsea fans as to how effective protests will be, but it shouldn't detract you from the fact that these people aren't suitable and should never be considered suitable. So that's why it has to be no to the Give a quick view. This is a uh, boogeyman from uh, Blue Lounge. I think the question uh, is uh, why the Ricket are still in the race, knowing that there's going to be a protest. Uh, just by following the Twitters, you know uh, there's a part of the fan base that are not happy with the Ricket. So why are they still in the race? I just think we need to take two steps back and think about this properly. Uh, the Ricket are racist. Like, I mean, I think uh, I'm not. I don't think anybody will ask me to prove it. But, I mean, by listening to their comments and re- all the things the uh, uh, certain member of their family has said, Joshua, if you're not white, those people have no respect. If you're Arabs, you're black, you're Asian, they think don't, you're not good enough. And that is pretty much the definition of racism. So, them owning the club is a problematic. Um, obviously, um, we've heard the devastating news about Roman Abramovich being sanctioned and having to sell the club. So it's up to the club now to make the decision on who to choose as our next owners. And um, there's a group on that shortlist that concerns me as well as many other supporters as well. And that's the Rickett family. Um, I, I've uh, studied all the proposals and with the Rickett family, um, I don't... Um, like how they've run their sporting franchises. You just have to ask the Chicago Cubs supporters uh, what they think of them. And also there's some um, unsavoury remarks that they've made about um, people of the different communities, like the Muslim community, the black community, for instance, and that doesn't sit well with me. Um, okay, they may be backed financially by Ken Griffin, but sometimes it's money... Money talk sometimes, but it's that's not the be all and end all. You know what we need is an owner who's going to represent our fan base, and I don't think the Ricketts family are a group who are going to represent our fan base. So I'm hoping that you, Chelsea Football Club, are going to do the right thing, make the right choice, and please, no to the Ricketts. Say no to the Ricketts. Vote for the petition. Make your voices heard. Up the Chelsea. Uh, the Ricketts take over the, the Chelsea Football Club. I've been I've been knowing Chelsea since since after the day, a year I was born, and we've been thoroughly went through bad times, the good times, but I never expected that the the the, the years under Roman Abramovich has finally come to to the abrupt end and. You got the um, one of the owners, the bidders, the Ricketts. We all know what their comments are, is all about. And I just think it's just all about money. And it's absolute disgrace. And I've had enough about it. I think it's time to get out out there and show show our solidarity. Get a protest. Hashtag no to Ricketts. I want to say thank you to everyone who contributed in making this video. Um, and and um, getting this message out there please share this video please post it on your social media and let it let it be heard let this message be heard by as many people as possible thank you for being here and thank you for your time up the chills and no to the wicked's family have a good day I'll, hopefully i'll see you on saturday peace